Hello and welcome to the first edition of Pulse, the new monthly webcast produced by the Indiana State Department of Health to keep Hoosiers informed of events and health trends in Indiana. I'm your host, Matt Scotton. April is National Minority Health Month, so it's only fitting that our guest would be Antoinette Holt, Director of our Office of Minority Health. Thank you for joining us today, Antoinette. Thank you. Um, please tell us a little bit about the history behind Minority Health Month. So Minority Health Month actually began as National Negro Health Week, and it was instituted by Dr. Booker T. Washington. And then he wanted to highlight the issues and concerns that were happening amongst black people. And so he had did a letter writing campaign amongst different newspapers and things that were serving African American communities at that time, as well as local health departments and others to engage to understand that there were significant differences between races even then. A particularly poignant example of health disparity in Indiana is infant mortality. Indiana's goal is to lower the infant mortality rate to no more than six per thousand live births. Currently, we are at 7.1 per thousand. Initially, when you look at that, you just want to say, well, we need to focus on lowering infant mortality across the board. However, if you start breaking that number down, you find that it's a little more complicated. Okay, so disparities that we're addressing around the state uh, include things that, um, such as infant mortality, is one of the state's highest priorities. Um, we're looking at it because our people of color, or specifically African Americans, have higher infant mortality rates than their white counterparts. What is that? Why is that happening? And so that's what we're having or trying to do as far as addressing the issue, whether we're partnering with Maternal and Child Health to look at Labor Love Campaign how we can address those issues, or whether we're partnering with community organizations such as Indiana Minority Health Coalition or different ones to address the needs and concerns of those communities that are seeing higher rates of infant mortality, specifically those populations. And then other disparities that exist throughout the state amongst racial ethnic minorities include heart disease, stroke, cancer is a big one, especially it affects this parent because, for example, more white women may get breast cancer, but more black women die from it. And that's usually because when they're diagnosed or seen. So what are those access and barriers that are preventing people from getting the necessary care, getting the necessary um, diagnosis or outreach? And so working with Red Alliance or working with Susan G. Coleman or working with other entities to make sure that we're addressing disparities. Diabetes is a big one, as well as we look at, we can go on down the list as far as unintentional injuries, homicide, these different things that affect different populations. So disparities exist throughout Indiana. What we try to do is the Office of Minority Health, on behalf of the State Department of Health, is to make sure that we're addressing those needs and concerns so we can make sure we come up with solutions or opportunity for people to have a better quality of life. Can you give me an example of some of the things that are going to be going on this month uh, for uh, uh, Minority Health Month? So we have our annual Minority Health opening ceremony. It will take place on April the 3rd. And what we try to do is highlight issues and concerns that are happening within the minority health community. And so we'll have AARP there. We'll have um, Indiana Alzheimer's disease effort. We'll have different entities and proponents that will be talking about different issues that are affecting minorities. And then also, we have an annual calendar that we produce that will show and highlight what's going on throughout the state through the month. So everything from powwows to events to local um, health fairs, you'll have this in this calendar and it'll be accessible via on our website. For more information on Minority Health Month, visit the link at the bottom of the screen. Until next month, thank you for watching the April edition of Pulse.